Okay, with this problem, we are going to be looking at a population model, and we're given the following information about the population. In the year 2000, the population is 50,000. In the year 2010, the population is 63,000. And we know that the population grows proportionally to its size. And we want to find out what the population is in the year 2011. So knowing that the population grows proportional to its size, we can write the following differential equation. Just that the population grows with some proportional constant times the population. And we can anti-differentiate this, or we can separate the variables and solve for the population. So we separated the variables and we're going to anti-differentiate to determine the population. So we find that the natural log of p is equal to kt plus c. And now we're going to just solve for p. And we get that p of t is equal to e to the kt plus c. And using the laws of exponents, we can pull out this c into another constant. We'll denote this one as c1. And we have that the population at time t is equal to some constant c times e to the kt. Now we use are given information to find out what the values of k and c are. So we're going to set the year 2000 as our time 0, and 2010 will then be time 10. Plugging in t equals 0, we get e to the 0 which is just 1. So we find that C is just 50,000. Or, sorry. Should, sorry, this should actually read. C. So we see that population at time 0 equals 50,000, which is our given year 2000. And time 0 is e to the 0, which is 1, which tells us that c is equal to 50,000. So we can plug this back into our equation, and we get the following. P of t equals 50,000 e to the kt. And we have one more initial condition where in the year 2010 our population is 63,000. So is e to the k, 10k. And we just solve for k. Natural log of 63 over 50 equals 10k. So 1 tenth 
natural log. So one tenth of the natural log of 63 over 50 is equal to our constant k. And we get the final equation. writing the uh, 63 over 50 as a decimal is 1.26. So we get P of t is equal to 50,000 e to the t over 10 times the natural log of 1.26. And we can even simplify that a little bit. To get P of T is equal to 50,000 times 1.26 to the power of T over 10. Okay, so now we're going to, now we're going to find the value of the population in the year 2011, which is our time equal to 11. And that's 50,000 times 1.26 to the power of 11 over 10. And that's about 64,473. So we will have a population of 64,473 in the year 2011.